Well, some of Kenya's graffiti artists have become a voice for social change using their art. There hasn't been justice. This is how we described our MPs. If your art is not protesting, then you're not doing art. I can protest in my song. You know, I can protest in my art piece. Issues of ownership, change, transformation, it's, it's, it's really your issue. because they believe in this country, because they believe in human rights, and we thank them all today. I'm a musician, uh, been around for quite a while. I've been like part of the build-up to whatever is happening now. What we were doing today is we were uh, highlighting on the human, human rights issues through our music. <laughs> Where you get the inspiration is, is when you see all these artists on, on, on the stage, musicians, uh, also speakers, who really put arts into, um, into the content and content into arts. And that's really a powerful message that's given through a powerful meme. <laughs> The power of music, it goes beyond just entertainment, it's also education for the younger generation who missed out on the struggles that Kenyans went through in the past. So we want to encourage them to be conscious about where we came from and that makes it easier to, for the young people to know where we are going to. Because if you're going ahead without knowing what's behind, you're bound to lose direction. So we have a past and that might help us determine our future through the music which is one of the most powerful weapons in the universe. Mr. President, our politician, our Kulangi Nyama, a dealer time on a Takakura, they want a Kaya Kiko Mets, and a Kila time on a Sema. Vote for me, vote for change. Everything that is done there is not it's not just what you can see and get, but sometimes it gives you a message because when there's a mental picture, people can think about it over and over a period of time. Dope reggae vibes, positive energy, loved it. And the things that we're talking about, um, mental health, um, love, peace. We add more meaning to our music, our lives, our future because it's not just about politics. Music is a, is a tool be, beside politics that is very powerful, particularly if you look at the youth. They respond more to music than politics. So if you put the power of the past and the future in the music, then we are going to be moving very fast in a very positive direction. The art performance was I think very mesmerizing and it was intense and um, emotional and I really loved that. I've never seen anything like that actually. And my love to Siowia, she's an amazing artist and I really admire her. It was a humbling experience to see that there's so many people fighting for the cause for human rights. Yeah, it's left me really inspired and in a, in a vulnerable place because then I know what's to be done and in the direction to go. So yeah, it's a blessing, give thanks. Take 
violation of human rights is not an event. It's a continuous process. It's something that we should brief, something that should happen every minute. Hope doesn't make you woman. Active doesn't make you woman. But we're pain. We're pain pushers want to forgive. We're only pain bleeds progress and not revenge. Now that's the path that says, welcome to womanhood.